What's up everyone, it's Jack on Gold Kick, and welcome to a sequel to a video to a video I made a few years ago. Welcome to Why Eminem Sucks Nowadays, Part 2. Because there's even more to talk about with Eminem's new music, especially since he's put out more albums since I made that video. Um, so yeah, why does Eminem suck nowadays? Well, probably going to touch on a lot of the stuff I talked about in the first video, but Eminem just isn't good anymore. He really isn't, you know. And before anybody gets in my video and wants to get pissed off, because whenever you get negative about Eminem, a lot of people get really upset about it. And here's the question I'll ask. If you're someone, especially if you're a stan, that get, you know, a dick writer, if you're someone that's going to get mad at this video and dislike it and hate me or whatever I have to say, I want to ask you this. Regardless of what you do and want to hate my video, I want to ask you this. How come Eminem's music back in the day, his first three albums, Eminem Show, Martian Mothers LP, Slim Shady LP, how come those albums were received well all across the board and there was never no discussion about how he sucks or how his music fell off. I want you to answer that. How come back in the day, Martian Mars LP, Slim Shady LP, Eminem Show, and his music from back in the day, why did that stuff have general positive reception compared to his newer music where it's a lot more mixed and there's a lot more negative and positive mixed between the two? I want you to answer that, right? That's what, that's what I want you to answer because if I'm so wrong about what I have to say, and this and that about Eminem's new music. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's my opinion. If you like Eminem's new music, that's fine. But the thing I want to say, that's, that's what I want to ask. If you're someone that's going to get pissed off at what I have to say about Eminem's new music, and you think I'm wrong, I want you to answer that question. Why is his early music received better than his newer music? Clearly, there is some kind of truth here to some of us who don't really like his new stuff. There's something going on. If his older music had better reception than his newer music, something is going on. Something is going on. Just saying. But yeah. Why does Eminem suck nowadays? Let's talk about him part two. Well, his last his last few albums have been crappy, just like Revival. You know, I don't know when I made the first one, but ever since the first video, he's released Kamikaze, Music to be Murdered by, and Music to be Murdered by Side B. And in my opinion, all those albums suck. All of them do. Kamikaze sucks, Music to be Murdered by sucks, and Music to be Murdered by Side B sucks. You see, the problem with new Eminem I have in the nowadays Eminem is his rapping style and his production. His rapping style is very unappealing to listen to. He usually goes off and on beat all the time. He uses unappealing beats that are trap beats. He has awful fucking hooks. And sometimes his features are questionable, like working with people like Pink and Skylar Gray and stuff. Just artists that aren't even that good. Artists that Eminem should not even be working with. Eminem's a fucking sellout, by the way, as well. That's another reason why Eminem sucks nowadays. He's a goddamn sellout. Went from dissing pop music to making pop music with pop artists. Went from dissing mobile rap to working with mobile rappers like Juice World. Went to dissing mainstream music and stuff like that, but then started making mainstream music and talking about money and shit. It's garbage, man. It's trash. That's another reason he sucks nowadays. It's a goddamn sellout. And his music sucks nowadays, in my opinion. Kamikaze, Music to be Murdered By, and Music to be Murdered By Side B. Three bad albums in a row right after Revival, which was also a bad album, you know? And the crazy thing is, you know, for me, you know, Eminem's projects after his first three are very divisive. I didn't mind Relapse. You know, there's a few songs I'll like on a few of his albums here and there. But recently, most of his albums have just sucked. I would say the last decent album he's put out, in my opinion, is probably Martian Matters LP2. The last good song he put out was probably Guts Over Fear in 2014. And after that, he just kind of really fell off. But even, you know, Guts Over Fear, that, that even had the sellout shit with having a pop artist on the hook. I'll admit that, you know. But... But there, there's a lot of people out there that feel like Eminem hasn't been good since Eminem show. Someone like Silent Rob even said he feels like Eminem hasn't even been good since MMLP, you know? And this is something that's said a lot. So like I said, if you want to claim me and a lot of these people that criticize new Eminem, if you want to claim we're wrong and we're haters and all this bullshit, ask yourself why his old music has better reception than his new music. That's what I want you to answer. That's what I want you to answer, you know? Because if his older music's got better reception than his new music... Clearly, there's something going on. Clearly, it's got to be at least more than an opinion. You know what I mean? Because if his older albums are called classics and not his new ones, something's wrong. And it's just a shame to see where Eminem has went. Because he started out as a great rapper. He had great albums back in the day. He made a landmark in hip-hop. Broke down the barrier for white rappers. Stuff like that. You know? And he does have legend status. But it's just a shame to see where he went. He used to be a really good artist. To now, he's just really bad. He makes really bad music. Unappealing stuff. You know, just not good music anymore. And like I said, Kamikaze, Music to be Murdered By, and Music to be Murdered By, Side B, all three of those albums sucked. You know, they coincide also 
with why I don't like Eminem nowadays music wise and why I think he sucks nowadays. And also what I touched on in the first video is the fact that, you know, why did all three of those albums suck? Why does the music suck nowadays? Because he uses trap beats, which trap beats are so repetitive and overused. He has a bad rap style where he'll like rap on and off beat and it just doesn't sound good to the fucking ears compared to when he used to be on beat back in the day. Um, and just his rap style overall, I don't like it. It's like this broken spoken word poetry where he goes off and on beat and it just doesn't sound good. It's not appealing, you know, it's not appealing at all. So his flow and rap style just sucks now on top of having bad production with using shitty trap beats, you know, it, it, it's just, it, it's crap. You know, and it's just a shame to see where Eminem's went. His voice also sucks now. It feels like he's forcing his voice now and doing things with it instead of just rapping naturally. What he should be doing is rapping naturally, using his voice normally, and actually rapping on beat. That's what he should be doing. That's what he should be doing. And he should be making the music he wants to make, you know? And it just feels like now he's making worse music. Like I said, he has a very unappealing rap style that's not appealing to listen to where he's constantly off and on beat. Most of the time he's off beat. He's always rapping fast. It's an unappealing rap style. He's got an unappealing rap voice now where it sounds like he's forcing his voice compared to his old music, which sounds like his voice is more natural. Like, go listen to something from the fucking 2002 or 2003 era. Go listen to even something from the recovery era. His voice just sounded normal. You know, he had a normal sounding voice. And he would rap on beat, you know? That's another thing I'll say is, if you want to get where I'm coming from, like, listen to a song from Revival or Music To Be Murdered By, and then listen to something from Recovery, Relapse, and Slim Shady LP, and compare three songs from the new Eminem to the 2002-2009 and 2003 Eminem. Like, compare that to this new Eminem. The old Eminem, especially the Recovery era Eminem, his rap style sounded natural and normal. He was on beat. It sounded like an appealing song in terms of how he was making it. And he was using his regular voice. Whereas now it feels like he's just using a very forced, unappealing rap style with his broken spoken word poetry. That's absolutely unappealing. Bad production. Shitty trap beats. You know? And his voice itself isn't appealing. It sounds like he's forcing it. You know? And it's just not any good. Another reason I don't like Eminem nowadays and why I think he sucks nowadays is when he started to do his political shit, he went about it the wrong way, in my opinion. Look, I don't care if Eminem doesn't like Trump, you know? At the end of the day, people can have their opinion and be where they want to be in politics. But what bothered me about the Trump shit is Eminem was telling him, he was Eminem and the cypher, not telling him, but Eminem and that fucking BET cypher he did when, the first time he had a beard. When he did that BET cypher, you know, with the cringy lyric about hot coffee pot, that was awful, Eminem. What the hell? But the fucking... The Trump cipher he did, or the BT cipher he did, talking about Trump, he went about it the wrong way because near the end, he told his fans that you have to choose between him or Trump. And if you can't, then he said, fuck you. And I think that's bullshit. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? It's fine if you want to get political and talk about that shit, but you want to turn around and make people choose. It's like that. That's how much of a fucking asshole you're going to be about politics and your own opinion. That's bullshit. You shouldn't make your fans choose. If if they want to be a supporter of yours, but just be a fan of Trump, then why can't they be? Why the fuck can't they be? It's freedom of speech. We should all have our own opinions and ideals. I know Eminem kind of said he like backtracked on that and kind of regretted doing it, but he seems proud of it since in his revival album or one of his new albums, he says, I cut my fan base in half and still outsold you or some shit. I don't remember where that was from. But yeah, it, it just felt very, it just was wrong in my opinion. I didn't like the political thing he did. And like I said, it has nothing to do with him dissing Trump. It has nothing to do with what he said in the political thing. I don't give a shit. I don't care where he stands. If he was dissing, you know, if it was Hillary Clinton as president instead and he was dissing her, I would still be saying the same thing because I don't like the fact that Eminem is going to force his fans to choose between him or Trump. And if you don't, then fuck you. That's bullshit. It should be your own fucking opinion when you think of him. You don't force people to fucking think with your own shit. And that sure is, that, that's not what Eminem's about. I thought Eminem was about being yourself and saying fuck you if you don't like me back in the day. And now he's having the, trying to have this mindset or something. I just don't get it. It's bullshit, you know? And th another reason Eminem sucks nowadays is he doesn't feel as aggressive as he used to in terms of not caring, you know? Back in the day, he was someone that didn't give a shit. He would do whatever he, the hell he wanted to do. But nowadays, he's kind of went soft in my opinion. Like, for example, he called Tal the Creator... Um, a faggot in the song, um, what song was it? It was Fall. He called Tyler the Creator a faggot in that song. And I'm just referencing that. I'm not saying that word to say it as a slur, but I'm just referencing that word in the song. He censored that word, even though he put it in there. 
because he claimed that he went too far with it and that people got offended. It's like, it's like, this is the same guy that said all the crazy shit he said in his music and he's censoring that word. That's not even the worst of what he said in his older music and he's censoring that, you know? And it just feels like it's like another reason why he sucks nowadays, you know, from the, the bad music, you know, that he constantly makes to the fucking, the, the shit with Tyler Crater censoring that word. It's like the old Eminem would not censor that word, you know, it's ridiculous. Another reason, in my opinion, why Eminem sucks nowadays is, you know, everyone has their own opinion on his beef and which diss track is better. I think both diss tracks are pretty good in terms of the lyric side of things, but there's a few things you could, you know, point out as flaws when it comes to the Eminem and MGK beef. MGK put out a diss track about, oh, okay, well, first what happened was, you know, MGK dissed Eminem on a Tech 9 song, and then that spiraled the beef, so he started it. MGK released, because Eminem responded on his album, Kamikaze, and then MGK did a diss track called Rap Velvet, and I thought it was a pretty good diss. I'm, I've never been a big fan of MGK, never could really get into his music, but I thought it was a good diss. It was pretty cool. I like seeing beef like that, as long as it doesn't get, you know, to the streets and get people killed. You know, I, I like that kind of rap beef. It's competitive, cool stuff, you know. So MGK released Rap Devil, and it took Eminem quite a while to respond, which is, it kind of makes him look bad in my opinion, because if this was 2002, 2003, if this was the old Eminem, he would have had a diss track at MGK within probably two hours, within the same day, you know? But this new Eminem, it took him, it took him a long time to put out a response to MGK, which just seems a little bit shaky. It's like, it's like I, saw, I thought you were supposed to be like, you call yourself the best rapper and all this shit. And it took you this long to respond to MGK. Like, I feel like if this was old school Eminem, the one that was actually good, you know, Eminem from the 2000 to 2003, that Eminem era, he would have had a diss track out within hours or within at least the same day. But he took quite a while to respond. And while, like I said, I think both the diss tracks have good lyrics, in terms of songs and how they sound, I actually do like Rap Devil more than Kill Shot. I feel like Rap Devil just sounds more pleasing as a song, you know, overall. Um, Kill Shot has good lyrics in it, but the thing with Kill Shot is it just sounds like him ranting and getting angry over a trap beat. That's what it really sounds like. It doesn't really sound like a structured, good diss song, you know, in my opinion. It's got good lyrics. But yeah, I just, when it comes to that beef, I just wanted to point that out as well. But yeah, I just feel like Eminem sucks nowadays, man. From a lot of the stuff he does with the political thing I mentioned, with censoring that word against Tyler the Creator, even though he's always been crazy back in the day and now he's gone soft, you know. Taken a very taken quite a while to respond to MGK when I know that this, if this was older Eminem he would have had a diss track out immediately especially his beefs with Mizzino and Ja Rule and fucking um, cannabis and all those people he he had diss tracks out pretty quickly on those guys he I don't know how long it took him but I think it took like a week or two but it, it took quite a while for him to respond to MGK which just it, it makes him look a bit weak because it's like it takes you this long to respond to MGK like he you you would have had a diss track out on this guy. Within the same time he released it, or at least the same day or the next day, if this was old school Eminem, the one that actually made better music, the one that was actually himself, the one that wasn't a sellout. What happened to that Eminem? You know, I want Eminem to be himself again, you know, not be a sellout, actually make good fucking music. And now he's fell off, you know, he's completely fell off and he, he can't take criticism either. That's another thing. Like he'll diss, uh, you know, he'll diss people that bashes albums and stuff and he can't take criticism you know because what we're saying he should somewhat take into account you know because this new music isn't any good and Eminem should question that himself that's another thing you know Eminem should ask himself why does my old music got better reception than the new music he should ask himself that but yeah I just feel like Eminem sucks nowadays man from from the shit I talked about as a person you know with the political stuff and you know the MGK beef to the other thing I want to mention like I said his music nowadays, in my opinion, sucks. Kamikaze, Music to be Murdered by, Music to be Murdered by Side B, they're just not good albums. There's no replay value. They're not appealing music to listen to. I don't care how good the lyrics are. I don't give a shit. The rap style he uses with the broken word poetry where he's offbeat is unappealing to listen to. Compare that to his old stuff and you'll get what I'm talking about. His voice is unappealing to listen to. It's not like he's forcing it rather than it being natural. I swear I'm not crazy here when I'm talking about this rap style thing. And then the production is bad. It has shitty trap beats, you know? So yeah, that, that's why he sucks nowadays. And I don't see him ever getting better. I really don't. I don't, I don't see him ever getting better. Um, I just don't see it ever happening. So yeah, that's all I got to say about Eminem nowadays. I just, I think he fell off, you know, music wise. He just isn't good anymore. He hasn't put out good music, good albums in a fucking long ass time. Because he has a forced 
voice that doesn't sound natural. He's got a shitty rap style where he always has a rap fast and rap off beat. He's got bad beats. He's got the shitty trap beats and these bad albums in a row. And he's a sellout on top of that, along with the other stuff I mentioned. And it's just a real shame to see. And to be clear, yeah, I am a fan of Eminem. Because I, I know some people out there, whenever you get negative about stuff you like, some people want to be like, oh, you were never a fan of them. You're not really a fan. You're just a hater. I'm, I'm actually an Eminem fan. All right. I like some of his older stuff. I'm really obsessed with his unreleased music. I think his unreleased music is very interesting. And that's something Eminem should do. You know, Eminem, if you can't make good music anymore, put out your unreleased music. Some of the stuff that's came out recently, like Cut Back, Everything, Hip Hop, those three songs that leaked from King Mathers, those were dope songs. Those were dope ass songs, dope unreleased stuff that you made, Eminem. Those were dope. And those were unfinished songs, not even finished. And they sounded better than anything you've put out in the past few years, you know? And this song was made as a joke, but even his song Wee Wee, which is similar to songs like Fact, even Wee Wee is better than anything he's put out from Revival all the way to now. Straight up, I would rather listen to Wee Wee than anything he's put out from Revival all the way to now. That song is easily better than anything he's put out from Revival all the way to now. And it's just a shame to see it. And like I said, his unreleased stuff is pretty damn good. You know, all the unreleased stuff he's had that leaked, the King Mather stuff that came out recently, like Cut Back, Hip Hop, everything. Those are dope fucking songs. Those were when, that's when he was good. Eminem should just put out his unreleased music instead. I would rather hear that because there's probably a shitload of it. I'd rather hear it because at least with the unreleased music, it's going to be from eras where... It's the eras of Eminem we liked more. And it's the eras of Eminem where he was actually better. And I'd like to see that happen because I find his unreleased music more interesting. So, yeah, that's really all I got to say about it. And, yeah, that's basically my opinion. I just, I think Eminem sucks nowadays, you know. And, and I hope people, even if they agree or disagree, just respect opinions. Let's not be, hate. let's not be hateful about this. Let's be civil about it, you know. That's really all I want.